Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We'll be playing Kha'Zix versus Nunu. Look at the enemy team, Bob. Look at them. That's right, they scale. They scale quite a bit. And you know what that means. We got a spike mid game. As per usual. Me picking an assassin. I've only been playing like Kha'Zix Viego. And all, all I've been doing is scaling into the mid game. And instantly winning the game. This one tactic that the experts don't want you to know. You can kill some funny camps. And then... Spike mid game. Now I have been speeding up a little bit of the tempo for Kha'Zix, so there's certain things that Kha'Zix can do to play tempo versus always full clearing. And I'm gonna have to do those these game, or this game, because if I don't and I just stay to a full clear, then we kind of lose. We get outscaled by Kale, Cast, and Vayne, etc., etc. Alrighty, this guy's running it down faster than I can really compete with, though. Let's get level three and then see what we can do. The Nunu is probably going to gank mid. He's only level two. I'd be pretty surprised if he was in my blue side, but regardless, I need level 3 before I do my next move here. The next move would be invading his blue side, so let's go ahead and get in there. I think we can get the two camps over him. Easier said than done, but we'll see. Because if I can get that blue gromp, those are both very fast camps for me to take because of that isolated Q. And that will put us ahead of that Nunu. Go ahead and put a ward right there, naturally. Naturally. Now we don't have smite and this guy has Q, so we're actually just going to bring it around town and fight this guy. He's level 2. Has no snowball. And he has a Cassidy to back him up. It's just not a big deal. Keep this bad boy aggroed. We're going to move in. Auto. W. Auto. Moving. Q. <laughs> hey, big man. E. And then moving. Oh, he went down? Okay, man. You win. You win. But I'm not going to let you get those wolves, that's the thing. You think you can heal up? No. Let's move in right here. Shmove in. And then we're going to W, auto smite. And then we're going to E, flash Q, auto, moving. Nice. And we are outie Bob Shmouty. Uh, Cassidy and Champion won't be killing us. That's not a bad start to the game now, is it? Nunu makes the mistake. What do we do? Try to punish it. And we can just run him around. For all of Kha'Zix's early game weakness, um, whenever you can simply 1v1 the bad guy when you're a level up, that's a point that, you want, that we want to exploit. Alrighty, so what, what I was saying with pushing the tempo right, all I'm going to do is farm to my level 4 reset and then spend my gold and get back out on the map. Get that level 4 off this blue buff, get my serrated dirk, and then the sooner I get onto the map, the sooner I can fight again. Probably with the level advantage over the Nunu, he needs to do a lot of camps since he did that level 2 gank on the bot lane. So after this, let's reset. Okie doke, for the runes, Bob. We got Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball, Relentless. And you probably noticed the Absolute Gathering uh, for the secondaries. Those are just super offensive so that whenever we get a lead, we take it just further and further and further. It really speeds things up, giving us more damage across the board there. Alrighty, to the top side we go. We know that Nunu started in the bot side, so he won't have any meaningful camps there. And now that we have this Serrated Dirk, uh, double buffs, level 4. It's time to do some ganks, and then we'll go back to the camps. EQ, moving. W. Wah. And then we'll just pester Nunu in his jungle. This will show him to ever do a play, huh? He doesn't have any support, he doesn't have any backup. Go ahead and ward this. If he goes into his blue side, Bob, he just doesn't have anything meaningful there. He could try to take the Void Grubs, that's fine. I'll finish up these... Raptors and then meet him there. Welcome to Plain Tempo. Me play Tempo, me so good. Me can test everything, me so good. Because I can walk around right now. We have that level up and we're just... We're just walking around. Grabbing my you know what. Yeah, there's Nunu on those Void Grubs. Try to get into that top lane. Pretty unlikely though. Garen does not have TP. Well, Garen had Flash. Come on, man. Can't be getting hit by a new, new snowball with that up. Alrighty. You get away with it this time, Mr. Nunu. Now it's time to farm Bob. So we get strong, contest everything, basically. Play our chances. And now that our chances are done, we go back to the camps. Because we go back to the camps... They can give us a little bit more XP, or just give us that level up moving into the next play. 
We're gonna go from level four to probably level five and a half, and then from there. We'll be very close to level six, and by the time the buffs respawn, we'll be able to get those. One thing that you want to watch out for too is that respawning scuttle. That gives you quite a bit of XP. So, I would imagine if I can get all of these camps and I get level six. We are staying on the map with the serrated dirk, but that will just put us even in items with the Nunu for now. Until we get our reset off again. Big man Karthus. How many deaths? Two. Okay. Next goal, level six. Hell yeah, pick me pick me scaling lanes if we're gonna die early game. Hell yeah. Bob, look at my team comp. Garen, Karthus, Aurelian Soul, Seraphine. I haven't played a lot on the other servers other than North America. So if you're from those servers, especially if you're high elo, please let me know if you have to deal with this stupid shit. <laughs> like, pick me all useless champions and we're gonna lose early game too. Cheers. It's like, what's the deal? Do you do anything good? No. All right. Evolve the ulti so that we have more of that invisibility duration and more movement speed during that ulti so that we can get on top of the target and stay on top of them. Alrighty, ulti moving. And ulti moving. E, Q, auto, ulti. Why? How can you see me? Go ahead and shove this wave in. And that is that. Alrighty, Bob, we got a kill, not too bad. You can see how squishy that Nunu is, where he's built AP. You would, I, we ideally want to get onto the ADC, but not an option this time. We'll do Wreck Trick and Boots for now. I've been building Boots pretty early recently on Kha'Zix, and they feel really good, especially whenever we play Tempo style. So right now it's kind of awkward, because we spent our ulti, we have the level up, we have our item spike, but to spend it is a bit much. But what I can do is Occupy, the river. If I'm in the river, then I can entertain an invade, a mid gank, or a top gank, and then go back to my camps afterwards. So let's get red buff first, and then get in the river. Without my ulti, a lot harder to force an invade or anything like that. We are level 6 to the enemy soul lanes level 8, but these soul lanes are super weak champions like Cassidy and Kale. Hello! E, Q, auto, W. I helped. <laughs> If he doesn't flash, I get another Q. I play tempo, me so good. <laughs> me show up to play, me so good. Let's farm some camps, man, get level 7. <clears throat> Allies be like, why don't you gank? Hey, man, I will. I will, you got me. Because one thing with the full clear Kazakh style is that you you become your ally's number one enemy. That's any full clear jungle, but God, Bob, something about Kha'Zix. I don't know what the misconception is. My allies thinks Kha'Zix is supposed to do eight ganks before level three, you know? Anyways, this full clear will get us to level seven. There's no objectives up, so with my ulti being up now, um, I can get level seven off my blue buff and then go into Nunu's jungle. And then again, that puts us in the spot to have options have options for good attacks rather than having to react and respond to them. Reacting will just be too slow this game. Nunu's topside. I guess the Kale is AFK. God bless America. God bless Spectrum Internet. Who's with me? Moving. Come on down, partners. We're going to ulti. E, Q, auto, ulti. Smite. W. Well, that's about what it's going to take, is an entire AFK for us to have a great chance against against the enemy here. No new new ganks? God bless. Swain, I love you. Alright, Seraphine, take that shit. Now she's like half tanking, you know? A little liar. A little white lie from Seraphine. <laughs> okay, guys. You can't dive a level 5 Swain. What's the deal? Seraphine, baby, auto attack and die to the turret. No? Understandable. Wouldn't want to break a nail. Who's with me? Alrighty, well, I have that ghost blade off the reset, so we might as well do scuttle and then reset. Continuing to play on that tempo. We're going to get sweeper on this reset, so that'll give us a lot more options for the ganks. With the ghost blade, that really, really empowers our ulti, giving us a ton of movement speed as we use it so that we can get even more distance with the invisibility. To get, to get on top of the target and really surprise them, as well as stay on top of them. So we get 60 AD, 18 lethality, 40 movement speed, and 20% movement speed with the active. 
So even resetting back onto the map, things like that all become a lot faster. So as we're playing the tempo, skipping the camps, Ghostblade really, really helps us because we're just we're just to the play faster, to our camps faster, and then as we're at the play, it's also faster, just speeds everything up. A little bit of void growth, but we're honestly just lucky. The new dude knows that he can't contest these. Into the mid lane here. The swing support has swapped top lane. Okay. Now we know that Kassen doesn't have flash. We need to see a rift walk before I ulti onto him though. That's the hard part with this one. Because if he just jumps away, it's not as useful. And with my Aurelion spending every ability on the wave, it's also not making too much sense. Let's go bot lane. The new news higher level than me. That's how much we're skipping camps here. Now, once we get level 9, this whole pattern switches up. This whole pattern of skipping the farm. Well, this is warded. So even if I ulti onto the vein, the whole idea is there. They know I'm there, so... We'll just go ahead and start the dragon. By starting the dragon, I can pull the enemy into me. Ulti Ghostblade moving. And then... Auto, W. Q. Oh, I didn't get my ulti off. There we go. E, Q, smite. <laughs> w flash, Q. My sir. W gives me that healing. <laughs> New news, like, come on, man. Let's reset. I don't farm camps, baby. I'm level eight and a half. <laughs> now, where I said this pattern's... Um, it's, it stops somewhat at level 9 because the camp stopped leveling up. And because of that, um, a little bit less XP. But then, as we enter the mid game, it can still be okay. It can still be okay because we can get that minion XP from the side lane. I mean, Bob, listen, their, their top lane's AFK, so we kind of have a free ride here, in a sense. Let's clean up some camps and then see what Mr. Nunu wants to do. Because I can do the, I can contest the Rift Herald, or I can do Dragon. Either one is fine. The Rift Herald's a bit more useful for us because the enemy is behind, and we want to spike mid game. The Garen says getting camped. What? You don't even have a lane opponent. That's a real top laner right there. Any champion shows up, he's like, man, where's my jungler? Man. You. Alrighty. Now, this Rift Herald is not the easiest. They got a whole vein up here. The way they're swapping their champions around is so bad, too. Even when you have an AFK, you do not have to play it like this. So, Vayne doesn't move up the lane, so I could have a chance here. Whoa! Ghost Blade, ulti. Then we're going to auto Q, smite. W, ulti, moving. Auto Q. Auto. <laughs> that dude got one shot. No magic mantle. Let's go ahead and clean up these wards, honestly. And then go back to the Rift Herald. Nunu, you can have the dragon every day of the week. Uh, I don't think you're scaling, that's the thing. We got those four, four Void Grubs in the early game. That will help us take the turrets as we go into the mid game here. And then the Rift Herald does pretty much the same. We can use it for one turret, and then that can open up the map. Especially if we take that mid turret. It's one thing that we really want to do. Not prioritizing the first two dragons. Maybe Team Comp's going to scale anyways, so... Alright, let's reset. Go for the Wreck Trick here, and then back onto the map. Just need one camp for that level 10. Playing tempo is pretty beast, huh, Bob? It's beast when you get six kills. New news out of his mind, question mark. Ulti. Ghostblade moving. Nice. Got the knock up at least. Hello, EQ. Nice. I don't even have to use the Rift Herald for mid turret. Let's go ahead and go bot lane though. Aurelian Soul has a good chance on the mid turret. And the Vayne's probably going to push up here. So, my minion wave's here, that means that her minion wave's right there, so she would see me right now. Wait for the caster minions to crash, and then we move behind here. It's my... 
Ulti, auto, Q, auto, W. What? E. Ulti. Q. I kind of feel bad for him now, man. We're winning a 4v5. It's not supposed to... <laughs> it's not supposed to be like this. The enemy had such a good chance, I swear. Next step, Bob. We're just going to continue the pace here. Do these two camps to get level 11 and get that level up on the... I guess we do the W. With all of their champions and all of mine, surely we get we get that empowered slow. If we... If it comes to a standoff too with like multiple control mages, just being able to shoot that W right in front of everyone, ARAM style, is super useful. Moving, Ghost Blade. Oh! Auto, W, Auto, they're slowed, Smite, Q. <laughs> w. <laughs> oh, he lives? There we go. Drop that Rift Herald for the base turret here. So much for the uh, pace of the game, eh? See, like this part, just shooting that W at him. At least I'm doing something. After this turret, we'll go ahead and reset. We all got a lot of gold, so we might as well spend it and then play for the Baron. Regardless if the enemy is open mid or not, it's like, that's the next play. Me level 11, me so good. Now, with all my full clearing right, I might be able to be level 13, but I would have missed out on like seven plays, so I'm feeling pretty good. They don't have a lot of armor, they don't have a lot of scaling, so I'll just go for the Edge of Night as my third item here. Usually you want to get that Shereldas as the percentage armor pin, but the pace of the game is just so fast that we can utilize that Serpent's or that Serrated Dirk like no problem. We got Opportunity second. This gives us quite a bit of burst. In combination with the Ghost Blade also giving us more movement speed. So you're just stacking that early utility. Opportunity is a very cheap item too. So it's pretty consistent to get to and then a fine power spike to play on on a two item spike. And then with a Serpent's Fang added to it, it's like nice. We're just totally all in the index of the early damage. I'll push top lane, boys. Nothing else to do. 750 if the bad boy's isolated. There's the FF. Eh, kind of feel bad for him, but it's a new new player, you know. Who cares? He deserves it. Not how you want to win a game. But I hard carried my last two and still lost. Who cares? It's honor the Karthus. Got ganked by Nunu. That easily won me the game. Alrighty, that will put us at Masters 280 LP. Final damage dealt, 9,000. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, considering that we have all scaling runes and whatnot. But yeah, that is how to play some tempo on on Kha'Zix. That's been my preferred playstyle recently. As, as good as the Profane Hydro Rush is, this is kind of just more solo queue-esque. So it really depends on the matchups, you know, when to and when not to. But yeah, that's that. Alrighty, GG. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.